this time around, we decided let's really get into what has brought the characters together. I know as a Marvel fan, I always want a story. The first scene of the story mode takes place in X-Guard. We drop in a couple of months into the convergence uh, of the two universes. Ultron and Sigma have not only fused their bodies, but have also fused the Marvel and Capcom universes together. We have upward of 25 speaking characters in the game, so what we're doing is introducing them in, in small teams. One of the things that was very fun early on was thinking of what character pairings would work, and even if they didn't work uh, throughout the entirety of the story, they would at least set up good moments. They go off on these stone missions where we get to see some more of their interactions with each other. The fun of seeing Spider-Man and Frank West like trade jabs at each other about being better photographers they both have a similar kind of way of dealing with the world through their wit. The difference is Spider-Man kind of uses his wit as a, as a weapon and Frank's using his wit as a, as a shield. Two characters I've really enjoyed writing for were Ghost Rider and Morrigan. Morrigan is a succubus uh, and so she draws her power from seduction. Ghost Rider is very stoic and he's kind of almost immune to her, her charms. And watching them realize we also have a sense of justice and that actually gets through these very huge differences between the two. That was one of the most interesting parts about sitting down to think about the story and the execution was, as fans ourselves, w what kind of scenes would we love to see and how these characters interact with each other? And then we start bringing them back together into the main thread of the story, and this all takes place in the scene, 3G. All the events that have happened up to that point all converge into this big moment. You see some of that in the full story trailer that we released in August. Uh, you've got the symbiote in play, you've got Jetta, you've got the Infinity Stones. There's just a lot going on. It's the moment where you see all of these characters coming together against this huge threat. I, I've been writing for games for 18 years. This game is by far the biggest in terms of scope, number of characters, and so it was a great opportunity to really flesh some of these characters out. As the story progresses, we begin to peel back these layers of the onion and you, and you start finding out what happened before and what led up into this. We actually started by writing those stone missions because it was more manageable. We had a chance to make sure that we were actually getting the tone and the voice of the character correct. But a lot of characters may have different motivations and that's how someone like Jetta from our Darkstalker series gets involved. Jetta has a code he lives by, but in this game he's using the the uh, soul stone and it's beginning to corrupt him. So we see this different side to Jeddah where he's beginning to lose his control. One of the mixed locations is uh, X-Guard, which mixes a piece of the X-Universe with Asgard. It's the sense ground zero for this whole convergence and it's where Ultron Sigma sits on his throne. You know, we're, we're game first and foremost. This, the, the goal of the story is to give meaning and motivation um, and substance uh, and a sense of stakes to the gameplay. So the ultimate goal at the end of the day is to stop Ultron Sigma, is to assemble the remaining infinity stones and stop or reverse if they can this merging of worlds and they are their backs are up against the wall there's some very cool and unique moments within the story mode that you experience within the story mode and nowhere else